What's up guys, welcome back to Goshen's Games, and today on this video for Star Ocean, what we're doing is something a little bit different. I'm going to show you guys how to play this game on emulator, because I have had a lot, I've had a lot of questions from you guys asking me how to play this game on emulator. It's not working, it doesn't show up properly, so I'm going to show you how to play this game specifically on Nox, because I've tried to play it on Bluestacks, it doesn't want to work on Bluestacks, in fact it doesn't even load the game on Bluestacks, but on Nox... I can get it to work and flawlessly so we're gonna go ahead and show you that right now what you want to do first things first and I'll put links to where you can download the latest update for Knox down in the description first things first you want to make sure you have the latest version of Knox available which is 6.2.0 okay so you want to download that once you have that downloaded then you want to go into multi drive okay when once you click on multi drive it will bring up this one right here, which is Knox Multi Instance Manager. Okay, so um, when you install Knox, it installs the regular Knox icon and installs another Knox icon called Multi Drive. So you go into Multi Drive, you open it up, and then it'll look just like this, just without this one right here. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do it. So in order to do it, you open it up right here, and you want to go to Add Emulator down here at the bottom. All right, so you click on Add Emulator. It'll bring up the different ones here. Uh, it'll default to 4.4.2. You want to click on 5.1.1. All right, so you click on that, and it's going to go ahead and unlock it. It's going to load it all up for you. Once it's done doing that, then we can go ahead and uh, and open it up. So it'll be done here in a second. All right, there it goes. Now, from there, you want to go into the settings, and you want to check the settings. All right, you want to be able to get the highest performance that you can. So you go, you can go into high. Or you can go into custom and allocate how many cores you want the C, uh, from the CPU to be running the game. Now, this is only available if you can do VT, which is virtual technology, on your motherboard. All right. So those of you guys who have custom PCs, most likely you're able to do this. Uh, if you're running a if you're running a Ryzen chip like I am, a, a Ryzen CPU. Um, it, it calls it something different. It's not it's not virtual technology. It calls it something different I'd have to go into my bios, but uh, it, it's very easy to Google just Google virtual technology for Ryzen and It'll give you what they call it. Um, so, okay, so you want to go so on mine I have I have the performance set on high Okay, so you put it put it on high because you want the most Memory for the game and you want to just run it as best as you can because the game takes uh, you know, it does take quite a bit of, of performance in order to run this uh, now something else that I've noticed okay now this is for me not everybody has this problem but I've had this issue and and I've seen that other guys have had this issue as well now when once you load the game up it might load and and it might be like a dark screen like you can still see it like you see the silhouettes and everything the menus will be there but once you go into the actual game and once you're in combat and everything it'll be darker like as if someone turned the darkness way up on the game in order to change that in order to fix that if that does happen to you you want to take it off of compatible and switch it to speed all right so you switch it to speed direct x and once you switch it to that you go ahead and just click save settings settings updated and then um, go ahead and close it out now click on the play button to launch it so it'll not it'll launch the new Knox. all right which you can see right here i um need to uh, go ahead and adjust that for you guys all right so you can see it's launched it right there it's starting it up and it should start with uh, with star ocean in there because I already downloaded it or not so I'm gonna have to find it <laughs> all right so once you have it loaded what you can do which what I recommend to do is to go grab the APK all right so we're gonna go grab the APK uh, or you know the link to the APK copy and paste it in there and go ahead and download the APK All right, so once the APK downloads Then you can it'll go ahead and install it and you're good to go. So let me back up out of here uh, Where's the home button? Oh, all right, so it's downloading it right here Almost done once it's done. We can go ahead and install the game and it'll go ahead and load it up from there All right download complete Next. App installed. And we're good to go. It's going to go ahead and start it up. 
boom, there we go. Um, we'll go ahead and fix this really fast, just that way, like you guys can see it. That is not what I wanted. That is what I wanted. All right, so it's just gonna come. It's gonna ask for your info. Uh, you go ahead and, and create a new account or whatever if you have not, or you just go ahead and type in your your account. Uh, I'm not gonna do it. What I'm gonna do is actually I'm just gonna go ahead and close this out and bring this over here so you guys can see that I have the game all set up. We're good to go. Um, and uh, like I mentioned before, if the game does show up when you're playing the game and it sh and the combat shows up dark for whatever weird reason, then you want to go ahead and change the change it from compatibility to direct x uh which will then remove the darkness from the screen uh, i don't it'll make it a little bit too bright in some cases like you'll see in a second that in my case it'll be too bright but it's fine because it'll play and it plays just fine like i'd rather have it too bright than too dark because then you couldn't see anything but as you can see here, like the game runs very smooth, flawless for me. Uh, so hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And uh, subscribe if you guys are new. If you guys are catching me for the first time, hit that sub button. We we'll do this game a lot, or we will be playing this game a lot. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day, guys. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy the hell out of this game like I've been doing. Uh, and hopefully I can see you guys in my next live stream. So peace out, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.